Hello and welcome to another Pandora First Contact video. Um, this is a new game, this time on a large map with 13 factions. And I started this recording just because I just declared war. Um, the reason why I declared war is that others have done so before. As you can see, the Imperium now, it has four enemies and I'm just one of them. Lord's Believers were the first ones to declare war on them. And then uh, more and more people joined in and so I was one of them as well. And the Lord's Believers, they also are at war with several factions. So uh, being the first one to declare war might not be the smartest thing. Uh, because it is likely you will be backstabbed. So both factions got backstabbed. And I hope that I am not getting backstabbed in the back while fighting them, but since Terra Salvum also has declared war on them, I feel confident that this war will not be uh, bad for me at least. So I'm trying to take out this, uh, to capture their capital uh, before someone else does. Uh, unfortunately I do not have artillery yet, but I have queued one after this equipment modification. I wanted to get that out before. Uh, let's have a short look at my cities. Yeah, this is my capital. Uh, it took me quite long to found the second city. There were no really good spots left over here. Everything, uh, yeah, as you can see, the AIs have colonized most of the space. So, despite being the map is large, but with certain factions, it will get filled rather quickly. So, I took this place. It's not too bad. I'll have this uh, aquatic maxalon field and this panspermia reef so I will mainly use the city for production so this uh, this one can go down in production a little and do more research. Now let's check the other factions. Uh, not surprisingly I they are now outstanding and highly researched uh, some of them at least the science faction. Cybernetic consciousness is a science faction well, peacekeeping forces, uh, not really, but they also are highly advanced already. Uh, one of the reasons is that I made some changes after the last patch, so the AI will not make so much military, uh, but concentrate a little bit more on... They will still make a decent amount of military, but they will concentrate more on important buildings, so I've made some rules when buildings are important and when not so that when they are really important they will get prioritized and I hope this uh, will do good. Um, before it was just make buildings or make units and there was not really a building specific prioritization for that and they would just make the best building when they were making buildings but they weren't making buildings at all uh, otherwise and it depended mostly on the aggression aggression level so it will not change too much about how the non-aggressive uh, AIs act uh, more how the aggressive ones will not fall too far behind uh, who should I denounce? Dr. Schreiber? I didn't even know he was in the game I will not denounce him. Do I have contract with Dr. Schreiber? Yes, I do. Ah, I didn't take enough care. Okay, this one can be taken out easily. I had a lot more forests in the beginning, but once I had the Pandora construction, I started to cut them down in favor of suburbs and purifiers. So I do not have pollution and, well, I need more suburbs because the city will certainly continue growing. And yeah, it's maybe a little bit problematic that the aliens will spawn now. I might need... Uh, 
to leave some units in my cities, otherwise I could lose the city to a Kraken. Which I really do not want to happen. Okay, Terra Cybom also is coming up with... Uh, more units. It's not ideal to attack uh, the city with tanks. Let's see. Yeah, that's not good. This Barracuda might want to take me out. Um, I need a defensive unit. With, well, I will just heal for now. And yeah, now there's my artillery. And with this artillery I can... Uh, reduce their health. Uh, thankfully there is a road. This will make things much easier so I can drive up the road then fire with the artillery and then drive down the road in the same turn. Uh, I've been thinking about having the AI not build roads because they are more useful for the attacker than for the defender in most of the cases. I think I'll get another one of those the AOE or the, the range damage really is the best way to deal with this city, I feel. And the other city, yeah, they still need a better barracks, so my units are more trained when they come out. I think the Terra Asylum troops will mainly want to pillage the tiles here. Uh, this colonial trooper, where does it come from? It was probably the one that has been standing there last turn. Uh, since I want to conquer the city, I do not want to cause too much problems to it and pillage the surroundings. So this is a hill. Yeah, I need more suburbs. Unfortunately I have to get a, get rid of the forest first, but there's no worse tiles left over. Yeah, okay, Terra Salon is pillaging anything anyways. So, but now I can do what I intended to. And should start shelling the city with my tank. And getting out of vision again. This will take quite a while if no one else is coming to help us. Uh, ma maybe Terra Salvo might send a little bit more troops. That's not too much that they have sent so far. Okay, this city now can use another worker. And this one as well. We are at war, so we want to increase our production. Okay, I want to get some better armor, so I'm getting the gauze optimization. My armor is not top notch for this day and age. Uh, but I'd also really like to get aquatic formers, otherwise I cannot do much for the city. That's the only tile where something can be done. Uh, let's make sure the city expands to land tiles. Especially those without forest so I can start improving them right away. If you know the game you might notice that this now is red. I have made a change to the optics here and here is a little minus one 
Uh, I didn't display a different icon or so, it's just a minus one, so you can see that you have uh, some capacity in pollution. This is also reflected here. This is now also red, and the minus one is green to show it is good, and red means bad. I think this is more consistent. Also, as someone has requested in the last video, uh, I have made these uh, improved icons for the workers here as well, which will help micromanaging. This will also help micromanaging so you can better adjust to the pollution in the city. Okay, Terra Salvum has. Who shall I denounce? Captain Svenskert, okay. Ah, now I learn to know even more factions. And Lady Vermilion is one of them. Let's see, okay, here's Schreiber City, Einstein, okay, and Schrödinger, good research city, I suppose. And here we have the Gaia faction, they seem to have four cities already. And here we have the other guys, Divine Ascension. Okay, I'm running out of food. Mm, I'd rather produce the food in this city because uh, this is a science city and every person that produces food will be taken away from science. But right now I still need to construct a lot of buildings. I don't have the cultivation facility yet. And I'd have I'd like to have the Panspermia reefs first. Uh, but first I'll be getting... I think I shall be getting a ship. Maybe one with... Like this, but with a missile launcher. It will not be ideal to deal with the alien but it can be quite useful to siege this city. Okay, as we just have seen, Terra Cyvum has run up this hill, pillaged it, and then was attacked by a unit from inside the city. Uh, which means that, yeah, it was the ship with the 69%. It was damaged during that. Oh, they now also have a tank offensive tank and they will certainly well they will most likely use it but for that they have to get into an unfavorable position uh, let's do it like that so the artillery will not be the victim or target but I don't think they could have done so anyways. Yeah, I might want to place one here and here instead of here and there, so if they come over this tile I can flank them. This would be better. Let's see if something comes out of the city or not. Okay, they bring up another unit here, and it also gets killed. And a unit left the city and is going to attack this trooper, but it doesn't have enough movement points left. And more maps to share, so I know better now about those guys. I can see all their four cities now. Rather expensive. And Dr. Schreiber also declared war on Sister Godwinson. Yeah, Sister Godwinson's uh, area has been pillaged a lot here already. I think it didn't look like that before. 
and a tank placed itself to this tile and my tank was somehow thrown there uh, I really have to look into this why did this happen someone must have signed no that's weird well I will take this tank out and this one will stay here yes they moved out some of their troops and I'll get a purifier on this die better than a forest oh I didn't move back this was a mistake now I lost the unit as well but it also damaged one of the theirs quite a lot and I can take out this ship which I will do this will also be mm, okay I still can fire because I had vision last turn but then I will not have vision oh I had this tank all the time I didn't use it oh, okay this was not my intention actually okay now that I have lost the tank I feel a little more committed about that hmm yeah I want the orbital bombardment uplink do I want to put oh it's 620 this faction has a uh, I need to kill this one. This faction has a Malus on. Uh, they have 40% worse prices, but they have better population growth and 20% more production. But they are not good financially. The problem is, they now can heal. In order to prevent them from healing, in order to prevent them from healing, I would have to move this tank here, but then it would most likely be killed. Let me think about it. The units in the city, they were mostly damaged. Ah, they would be damaged even more if I attack them now. I won't get vision from here either. You have to stand directly next to a city to see the units inside. It is not just because of this mountain. I mean, I can even show. Yeah, you can see. Still, You still cannot see the city's unit. Uh, there's if you yeah actually I could get this is probably what I should do I could get a uh, an ATV they are good at uh, giving vision uh, I really do not want to risk this tank so I will heal it up first and you will be healed up as well and yeah now there's the city wants to extend the borders to here mostly probably because it would get the three mountains later on but I'd like to get the food first hmm I will skip the turn and now I think this was the next tile that I queued
interesting godwins and a height made peace. They were the first ones at war, but it certainly was not good for them. Mm, still can't do anything this turn with my artilleries, so let's skip the turns. This time I'll get a purifier. Now my ship is ready. 14.4 strength because I'm built in a city with a better barracks. This makes a lot of difference. Mm, I feel like I should prepare this cultivation facility so I can use more work, uh, farmers in this city. Did they pillage the road? That's why I didn't. That's why I lost my tank. Terra Salvum pillaged the road to make it harder for me to attack. Uh, they want someone denounced. I don't really care about those guys. If you have that many factions, you will be asked a lot of stuff. Now, Gardinie, have they made peace with the Imperium? Yes, they have. The free drones and I are now the only ones at war with them. And the free drones are on another continent. They will be more likely to take on this city, Mule, or how it is pronounced. This is not that great, actually. Because this all increases mm, the chance of me getting backstabbed. I'm particularly afraid of the cybernetic consciousness. They have been at war with the Lord's Believers for 11 turns. I'd like to know what's going on at the city. If it is about to fall or if it is about to hold. Now getting on the mountain will make me a target for them. But they shall suffer some damage. And this Avenger tank, I believe this city is also under siege, so they want to go there. But it was healed up. This is good that it left the city. Because it means it cannot attack me right away. And yeah, I will heal this one. Then I'll go here, here and there so I don't take damage from the fungus and it tells me I'm out of food yeah at minus 0.4 food oh, let's already place one here it will become more effective next turn and will become very effective once this gets into the area the people are automatically assigned to the best field so I don't have to go back to the city and do something about it this is not like in civilization in case you don't know you just say the people what they shall do and they will automatically do the most effective one yeah as I expected they moved out and they now offer peace which I of course reject now that I'm uh, near their city and they have brought back the tank what I can do is fire at the city and then retreat anyways and when I come back the next time next turn I can damage the city even more and then this tank uh, if he attacks if he still attacks it is more likely that his tank also will be lost so I will retreat for this turn and next turn I'll go back to it Okay, let's see. Now I'm getting this tile. I can increase tax taxes actually to still have uh, zero morale. Uh, the reason why I stay above zero is because at l as soon as you go below zero, your population grow will get lower. Of course, positive morale also is good for other things. 
I might actually, with this faction, <coughs> credits are so inefficient that it might be better to not accumulate uh, that many and instead go more on uh, increased output from the people but I don't know shall probably do it see how low we can go hmm. all the way down the problem is if I do that the AIs will see that you can see how much uh, trading income you get from someone and they will see they get very little from me and then they are more likely to cancel their trading pacts which means even less credits for me so as long as I have that many trading pacts I have 55 from trading income uh, I don't really want to this kinda compensates my negative effect so I'd say I'd still tax the people if there was no one trading with me I would certainly uh, lower the taxes okay I'd like to get a tank which is defensive and has a missile don't have a design like that yet Uh, so it is not that bad if I let it stand on this and orbital bombardment yeah with those I can speed up the sieging of the city I think I will mostly need my ship to defend here and cannot really send it up okay where would I expand my borders to next after I got this, maybe here. So let's take care about this tile. What will I be getting? Mm, this will be taken care about. So I think habitat the city will grow next turn, and then I will be short of habitat again. Okay, someone else declared war on Hyde. Foreman Domai declared war on Hyde. A lot of people declared war on Hyde because of a simple reason. The Lord's Believers were eliminated. Okay, first let's upgrade my designs. Now with the gorse armor it will be more efficient. Okay, who got the city? Oh, that's not good. I have a feeling they already were quite strong. Now with this city... This will help them a lot. Yeah, I, I want this. Now my military technologies are sufficient, I feel. Let's do some upgrading. This is the best unit, uh, but I do not have. Oh, I forgot to upgrade this one. Like that. You can attack, I can upgrade you later. Upgrade and upgrade. I will not pull back these units that are already out because now with that many more war declarations. Okay, this time I'm committed. I have to do as much damage as I can. But I cannot uh, 
again not attack them. The Imperium has a they heal twice as fast as everyone else, so every little uh, combat break they will use to get back to full health. So they have to permanently be damaged every turn. Uh, I'm curious if this tank will still attack here. Yeah, it is still uh, it still has 9.8, and it is uh, level seven, so it's quite likely that it will. This one will be healed up soon. Well, not too soon, actually. Oh, a flyer with 17.5 strength, and it kills my tank right away. And there's an artillery ship from Gardigny. Uh, luckily, due to it uh, killing my unit this turn, I can. I still have vision and can attack. But I shall be getting help now. It would. It would really have been hard to take the city all alone. Okay, the borders expanded to here, and now I make sure they will expand there next. So what about this city? Where shall the borders expand to? It might be a good idea to uh, let them expand here, so I can get more mountains. But this tile will be more efficient and it will also allow me farming better now the farm has I can reduce the amount of farmers over here which I think is a good thing and yeah I really can just start and build stuff on the tiles that I will eventually have in the radius but not right now yet okay this one is too slow so I can get more experience on this ship by killing some aliens Uh, I hope that Terra Salvum can continue to. Yeah, someone scanned the city, but it probably was not Terra Salvum, otherwise, they would fire. Uh, now I do not have vision, and I. S nah. But I don't want to interrupt the damaging cycle. Let's do it because now I can cause a lot of damage and they probably are too weak to attack then if I shoot both artilleries and the bombardment all of the units will be damaged quite severely and so attacking my tank uh, is not an option there's only 16.6 .6 strengths left but I cannot give them a break this would be uh, as I said, they are healing ra uh, really quickly. And Dr. Schreiber declared war on Svenskert. And I need Vendor apartments in the city. Just continue building on the tiles that eventually will be in my radius at some point. I hope he doesn't get a new unit to attack me with. Okay, I think it's too late for him. Now Terra Salvum's troops are getting here. And they are getting bombarded more. The question is... Hmm. This is the only city that is in striking range from me. 
I have to calculate it in a way that I get the city and not someone else. And as we can see, this uh, Mule city was taken now by Domai. So I really have to get the city. Uh, if I don't, I will be falling back behind those that have gotten cities so far. Let's see. I attack now. This reduces the defender count by one. Then they will attack with the siege unit once. Uh, and then they both will attack which should leave the city empty and then I can take it on the next turn. Yeah, if I kill one unit now I'm more likely to get the city. I don't know if there will be another ship coming but as it looks now this seems to be the best scenario where I think it is most likely that I will get the city and not them. So let's see, yeah 100 I'm still suffering 61% casualties because I'm really inefficient from this mountain but I really do not want to go over here because then I could be easily killed in the water but I feel they will not have the opportunity to kill this unit uh, later on because Terra Salvum shall wipe out the re Wait a minute. What have I done just now? It was... Wasn't it just three troops? It's four troops. They will only kill... One, one troop will remain. Ah, crap! One triple. Oh, if I'm lucky, the artillery kills the colonial trooper, or my artillery kills the colonial trooper. In both cases, uh, I shall still get the city, which I really hope I'll do. And I, in case they build a new unit, I need to get uh, over there with this ship here. Otherwise, I think I can't uh, keep. Terra Salvum from getting the city. Also I have to note that this unit will be here next turn. Ah, it's it's a close it's a race for the city. <laughs> Let's see who wins it. Ah the unit died. But they they will not get it. They will kill all units and the city will be open for me to capture. Perfect. No, no. Oh. <laughs> this, this was uh, close. It didn't have enough movement points. They had a ship near, but it didn't have enough movement points. But there's yet one problem. What will happen once I got the city? My army is not that strong anymore. It is likely that. And I will lose a lot of reputation for taking the city, especially with peaceful factions like Terra Salvum. We can have a look at it. Uh, right now, they are generous towards me. What will happen once I capture the city? It has been claimed I don't know if it is immediately or in the next turn. But I have to do this. And let's check again if they are still generous. Yeah, they are still generous right now, but I think this will be recalculated uh, the next turn. So let's get those guys in. I mean, if they declared war, they would be dropped out. Mm, the Kraken is now coming, so ah, I don't need to. to send this ship away anymore anyways and now I have a big problem with all this population let's see well I'm still at minus 29 percent morale so I will just raise the city for now for a few turns till 
Uh, it becomes more efficient. I mean, when when the takeover morale gets lower. I mean, when the without raising when it is higher than minus twenty five, I will stop raising. But raising uh, increases the actually it doesn't increase the growth that much because now I have enough food and without raising I wouldn't. Uh, I changed this from before because before you would lose more. Uh, you could sometimes lose less population from raising them from the what is it called? Um, no, here. Uh, takeover migration. Yeah, raising now takes this into account as well, and it's just added up. I still might want to save up some food now. Well, only thing I can do is increase the food production. Okay, this is as far as I can go without it becoming too inefficient. Okay, what do I need? Mm, I need some more sheep defensive units like those, for example. And I have another defender here. Was it just built? Mm, I think this should be gotten now that I'm threatened by a Kraken nearby. And yeah, this unit was newly built. I wanted to use it in the attack, but now I'll just have it... Well, wait, it needs to be upgraded. It was started before this was ready. So, let's use some money on it. And let's see what happens after ending the turn. I feel that I might... Uh, okay. They want to declare war on Prime Minister C, but I'm um, getting some pacts uh, cancelled because they don't like me that much anymore. Who do I? Captain Swanskirt, okay. Terminate trading pact, research pact, research Wars pact. Will be stopped. Okay, but no one cancelled the non aggression pact, so it is a good sign. If they, uh, they can do with the research pact. Let's see. Yeah, they're now down to cooperative, but cooperative is still quite good. It's not like they they want to wipe me out right now. Good. So I think I will uh, stop the recording now, and if there's something else interesting going on in this game, I will, as most of the time, I will continue, but last time there wasn't something really interesting. I think with three cities and two research cities it can be possible to win. It really depends on what the other factions do so and since they have been improved in the economical department uh, it can be a bit tougher than it was before. Okay anyways that's it for this video and I'll see you later.